What's going on, y'all? This is your boy Chris, aka Blue Enforcer, Tight the Truth, live from Indigo Nightclub. Uh, as it is halftime, the Tennessee Titans are up 17 to 13 over the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, Rodrigo Blankenship hit a, hit a uh, field goal to uh, cut the lead to three. Uh, cut the lead to four, excuse me. Um, first half, you know, if you look at the stats, you would think that the Titans did not um, do a lot offensively, but they definitely did some good things offensively. Uh, Derrick Henry uh, got a few carries that kind of bounced outside and was able to make some uh, make some sound plays. Uh, Tannehill, you know, is being patient, just taking what the defense gives them, not trying to go for too much. Um, AJ, AJ had a fat. Had a really bad drop in the first half. If he catches that, he's off to the races, and that's a score uh, right there. But I think he was thinking about the touchdown instead of just the game ball. Um, again, he was playing with a heavy heart, uh, but was able to um, – he got a couple of catches so far uh, in this game. John o. Smith uh, with a touchdown run uh, in this game. And Deonta Foreman uh, with a touchdown catch uh, in a very unique formation. So uh, it's very good. Uh, but the Colts are moving the ball. Um, you know, we were ended up getting – we got a big sack uh, in that play with Daquan Jones. And that was actually very big because that made him kick a field goal instead of them marching towards the end zone. Um, I think so far the defense has played pretty well. Um, the defense has played pretty well, but, you know, there are some instances where they've given up some yards. Uh, so I think definitely they need to, um, you know, um, make sure that they come and press up on the corners a little bit more, uh, press up on the uh, receivers a little bit more. And, you know, they got to get some more pressure on Phillip Rivers. Um, you know, Clowney was definitely effective in the first half. Uh, Landry nearly had a sack. Daquan Jones got one. And Big Jeff, Big Jeffrey Simmons is a man possessed. He's playing very, very well. Got his hands up on a big pass. Almost could have been an interception. Um, you know, uh, so I think defensively we're okay. We could be better. Uh, but we are playing against a better offense right now. So this is a test for them. This is a test to see if they're going to be able to actually take that step up a little bit more. So we're taking little baby steps as far as becoming better defensively. I think so far in the first half, not too bad. Not too bad. Could be better, but could be worse too. Um, you know, the fact of the matter is we've got to stop those screens. we got to, uh, you know, definitely penetrate on the uh, defensive line a little bit more. As we got some people out here with us, um, you know, we tightened up out here. We tightened up out here, got out. They uh, tailgated the cooking and stuff out here. So, um, you know, we definitely doing it big on the defense. You know, like I said, on the defensive side of the ball, they have got to be relentless. You cannot let up on this Colts team. If you got a chance, you got to do something. T.Y. Hilton has been effective, but Breon Borders has done a pretty good job so far. Uh, in this football game, and so I, I like where he's going with that. On the again, on the offensive side, I think Derrick Henry, um, you know, he he's taking advantage of any kind of lanes that he finds. I think he get himself going. I believe he has about fifty three yards rushing uh, in this first half, so he's halfway to one hundred. Um, you know, BT Hill, you said defense bust man up. I do agree. Uh, we definitely got a man up. We definitely um we get we definitely gotta stop the running back. Uh we gotta get better pressure. I agree, D09. Um, you know, everybody said we gotta apply pressure. Uh that drop was awful by AJ. I agree. Uh we gotta start playing a little bit. You know, Minnesota Titans said we gotta start playing some man, because I agree. Phillip Rivers is carving up that zone cover. He, he can carve up that zone coverage if we keep playing it. So we need to start playing some more man. Play a little bit more man, be a little bit more aggressive. Don't be afraid of these guys. And we've got to find a way to get some blitzing and attacking of that offensive line. On the offensive side of the ball, we've had some problems with injuries. Uh, Roger Sappho went down. I don't know if he's going to be able to return. He's probably questionable. And, you know, Ben Jones went down earlier. Jamil Douglas took some snaps at center. But now he's at left guard. And Ben Jones is back in at center. So that's something to kind of watch out for as far as the offensive line. Um, as well, but again, gotta get we need to get AJ into a little bit of a groove because he's dropped a couple of balls. Uh, Corey Davis has caught a few. Um, John New Burks have caught a um, caught a nice pass over the middle and kept a first down, uh, and things like that. So, um, 
I definitely like that. And um, Kostowski's made all his kicks. Kostowski's made all his picks. His kicks so far. So we're looking really good um, up 17 to 13 right now. Uh, so they're in the locker room looking at making some adjustments. Uh, something that I would think, again, that they need to do, they need to get up and use some more man pressure. They need to use some more creative blitzes to kind of try to get um, Phillip Rivers off of his spot. So because, you know, Phillip Rivers is a guy, he's going to drop back, take about two seconds. He wants to throw the ball. He wants to get rid of it quickly. He doesn't want to hold the ball a long time because if he does, he could get sacked. So we've got to find a way to get some pressure. Tier Tart actually has played pretty well defensively. Um, also, um, he, you know, he got a paw up and uh, tipped the ball that Jayon Brown nearly could have picked off uh, and everything. But I'm looking for some adjustment. The screen game has hurt us big time. So Minnesota Titan, you're right. Uh, Demario Patterson, what's going on with you? We got to press a little bit more. And so, um, so we got to, you know, we got to put some pressure on T.Y. Hill. As soon as I heard he was coming back, I'm like, Frank White was afraid that our defense might get a little bit better. So, of course, he wanted to put T.Y. Hilton out there to kind of uh, – because he has been a problem for us in the past. So, how y'all think we're going to end up in the second half again? My prediction is uh, I said 27-17, uh, about 10 points away from that. But uh, they got 13, so we're definitely going to see what happens with that. But, I mean, we've got to step up in the second half. Got to step up the pressure defensively. Offensively, we got to be aggressive, too. Offensively, we got to go right at this defense. We got to go right at them. Derrick Henry is starting to find some rhythm on the right side of the line. We got to continue to do that. We definitely got to continue to do that, and we got to keep ourselves ahead. So, second half, Colts get the ball. They need to apply some pressure, get them off the field so that we can get going. Uh, everything. <laughs> Facebook says, DP's come back one more season. I agree. I wish I wish he could come back. I wish he could come back. You know, uh, definitely miss him indeed. But, again, the Tennessee Titans up 17-13. Um, up 17-13 at the half. Um, the second half is going to get ready to get started in um, probably about uh, probably about another five minutes or so. So, how do y'all think the second half is going to go? How do y'all think? What do we have to do to figure it out and get this win at home? Because the Colts are breathing down our neck. We get this win. We go to seven and two. We got a two-game lead on the Colts before that second matchup, and it kind of makes that second matchup. A little bit easier for us to play. I mean, no game is easy. No game is easy. Every game is going to be hard. So we got to really – we need to step it up and focus here in the second half. You know, we are a good second-half football team. We do tend to make adjustments. So Frable and company needs to make some different adjustments. Arthur Smith has come up with some uh, – definitely some nice uh, creative plays. Like the um, the uh, jet sweep to Janu, um, the uh, the formation where Derek Henry kind of lined off a little bit to the right, like a fullback, and they faked it to him and got it to Deontay Foreman, Deontay Foreman on the outside. That was a very creative play. Uh, so I'm gonna try to see Preston. Uh, right now, y'all, I want to introduce y'all to somebody. I think y'all, some of y'all might know him, some of y'all might not know him, but if you do, what's going on? What's this going is, on? This is the president of the uh, Tennessee Titans fan club here in Memphis. We, My guy Preston Round. Told y'all, hey, this how we get down in Memphis. We represent them Titans real, real, real good. Don't never think that he by himself because he ain't by himself. It's tight nation for life around here. Exactly, and also, yeah, we got, don't play. We don't. And you gotta give a shout out to this to this guy. We got a few military veterans in the building. As you know, he's a man that served our country quite well. Quite a few others here. So this guy has served. He's been on the front line. Already. So this good guy. Enforcer, blue enforcer. Tell him, baby. Yes, sir. Titans of Memphis don't play, baby. <laughs> That is Preston Rouse. He is the Titan. He's the president of the Titans fan club here in Memphis. We, no games. we don't. We tighten up. We don't lighten up. So 
that's what we do. And uh, like I said, we're gonna get ready to get a stop. Uh, we definitely got a, we definitely got a dollar to pressure uh, going into the second half. But again, I'm staying true to my prediction. The Tennessee Titans are going to win this game. They are going to win this game. Put the pedal to the metal. Put the foot on their throat and choke them out. That's what you got to do in this particular situation. So I'm going to go ahead and get back in here and get ready to watch the second half. Uh, like I said, I will be probably back at the home studio, uh, at the home studio to do the post game. And uh, we will go over this game and uh, maybe see if we put out some nominations for next week's show for the two-tone blue star of the week or dunks of the day. So everybody. I appreciate y'all listening on. Again, make sure y'all share this show out. I will share this out uh, to everybody in a few minutes. But we're going to tighten up. Let's go get this win.